Our story today is called Quiet Time, and we're going to read from Mark chapter 6, verses 30 to 34 and 53 to 56. The apostles gathered around Jesus. gathered around him. And they told him all that they had done and taught. He said to them, Come away to a deserted place all by yourselves and rest a while. What did he say to them? He said, Come away to a deserted place all by yourselves and rest a while. He said four things. One, come away. Okay. There are probably busy times for us when Jesus calls us to come away. We need to take ourselves out of the places where it's busy or noisy or gets us all stirred up inside to a deserted place. It doesn't mean to a deserted place like where there's ice cream and cookies, although that's nice too. I like dessert. And he doesn't mean a desert place necessarily where there's like cactuses and coyotes and things, but maybe to a place where it's a little bit quieter, all by yourselves. That's a good idea. I think sometimes when I'm around a lot of people, I wind up thinking about what they need, which is good and important, but sometimes it's important to have quiet time. And the fourth thing he says is rest a while. Not a bad idea. I think it's good to have rest time. So, these are the four parts of the quiet time. Now, Jesus doesn't use the words quiet time. That's what I'm calling this. But it's a quiet time when you come away to a deserted place all by yourself and you rest a while. That's a good thing. So, what happens? Okay, this is where it gets interesting. So, and they went away in the boat to find a deserted place by themselves. Do, 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 do. There they go in their boat. <laughs> by themselves all together, I guess. Ha ha. Now, many of them, many people saw them going and recognized them. And they all hurried there on foot from all the towns and arrived ahead of them. Oh dear, what happened to their deserted quiet place? It's full of people. All the people wanted to come and see them, which is kind of why they went off to a quiet place in the first place. And now all the people are there. Oh dear, this wasn't what they had in mind at all. As Jesus went ashore, he saw a great crowd and he had compassion for them because they were like sheep without a shepherd. And he began to teach them many things. Well, that's good. I mean, it's what he did a lot. So Jesus was there and he was teaching them many things. He was curious, showing them things and telling them things. When they had crossed over, they came to land at Gennesaret and they moored the boat. And when they got out of the boat, people at once recognized him. And they rushed about that whole region and began to bring the sick on mats to him wherever they heard where he was. They said, oh, here's a sick person, will you heal them? Oh, here's a sick person, will you heal them? And they all came, which is what they did. I mean, people came and they wanted to be close to Jesus. It says, wherever he went, into villages or cities or farms, they laid the sick in the marketplaces and begged him that they might touch even the fringe of his cloak, and all who touched it were healed. People came to touch Jesus, and wherever Jesus was, People learned from Jesus, and they heard his message, and there was something very special about him, that if they were able to just touch his cloak, they were healed. He was a healing person. So there are a couple of things that happened for me in this story that I think about when I hear this story. One is that they wanted to be by themselves. He said, let's go be by ourselves, and they did. To a desert. They came away to a deserted place all by themselves and rested a while. And the next thing is that People came. Wherever they were, people came. So two things I think about when I hear this story. One is about how we need quiet time. But also I think about the crowds that were all running after Jesus, saying, Jesus, 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 Jesus. Sometimes, if I'm in a crowd 
and I'm coming to somebody who is healing, and I see that they might need quiet time, I could stop and think, maybe that person needs some quiet time too. It would be nice. I read in the story how Jesus and the disciples were always surrounded by people. Sometimes we can keep our eyes open. If there's somebody around us who's having quiet time, I can think about them and what they need too. So we need quiet time, but other people need quiet time too. Others need quiet time. So it's a good thing for us to give ourselves quiet time, but it's also a good gift to others to give them their quiet time. Both of those things are true. And it's nice when we can be together, and it's nice when we can have our own space. It's nice when we can do things for people, and it's nice when we can go away to a deserted place all by yourself and rest a while and have quiet time. That's our story for today.